Aloha nui au ki te, ki te au whakaari. Te whakaari hoki i roto i te reo Māori. Anō nei, kei roto au i te ahuru mō wai o tōku whānau. E mārama ana tōku arero, e mārama hoki ana tōku hinengaro. Uh, ki te he māmā tu ki au te whakaari i roto i te au Māori. Na te, I te mea, koe nei te au e mōhi o ana. Uh, te reo Pākeha, e, e, e te hiwa ka tawhiwhi taku arero i, i, i te hiwa ngā kupu. Uh, engari, Wai wai mari e au, he kaupapa Māori tēnei ko tōna reo hoki e arahi ana i te kaupapa nei. This represents the next step, I think, in the evolution of modernising te reo Māori, as we have to make it relevant for that um, age group and the world that they live in today. What's fantastic about this drama is we've been given the latitude to make it bilingual but also cast a core cast of native Māori speakers. It's really interesting because the first time I went through a script and I, and I found myself asking that question, oh hang on there's a bit too much Māori in here, then the penny dropped. Actually these actors are just as capable of dealing with a page of Te Reo Māori as they are dealing with a page in, in English. And that was just a really transcendent moment really in terms of uh, my career and working with Te Reo Māori in um, film and television. I feel like pop culture, storytelling, media, art is the, the way to present new images to ourselves and say to our young Māori audiences, you know, no matter what, you are Māori, you know, you are, you are enough, you are out here doing your best to navigate that in what is a colonised country, you know. Interestingly, the Smooch character was actually a boy. Smooch and Geo were originally men. They were originally young men. Despite my experiences, my co-papa, even I am slightly conditioned to say, well, we have the lead male protagonist and then we have a world that orbits around him and who are some of his male friends and what do they go through? We kind of decided, oh, we've already seen that, like, for the last thousand years. So why don't we try something a bit more wahine driven. You get to see a lot of mess and chaos and complexity behind women's eyes. It's usually only reserved for, you know, the brooding intellectual man, but we finally have an opportunity to say, well, there's a lot of young women out there who are, you know, just as turbo. It's not about being um, a pedantic formal language learning tool, it's about um, hopefully getting people excited, um, exposing them to te reo Māori in a modern context, making it relevant for them and hopefully motivating them to maybe extend or explore te reo Māori more than they are currently. Ki te hoki tātou ki ngā tau rua te kau toritau, torite kau tau ki i mua, ka ki te koe i te whana ke tanga mai o te reo, i te kore kore, ki te pō, ki te ao tai atu ki te ao māra. Te kautau i mua ka puta te reo Māori ki runga tiwi, te kautau i mua ka puta te reo Māori ki runga kōpai, te kautau i mua ka puta te reo ki ngā irirangi, nā, te kautau i nānei kua puta te reo ki ngā ki runga ipurangi. He taumata nui tērā, kua, kua aikea, e te iwi Māori. <tune>